So recently I did a video on three improved mil spec triggers, just doing a little bit of comparison. Those were the ALG QMS versus the ACT versus the BCM PNT trigger. I know there's a lot of questions on triggers, so I tried to cover those three in one video. I'll put a link to that below. You can check that out if you need to. But in that video, I did not do a comparison between a standard mil spec or mil spec equivalent trigger uh, next to one of those improved mil spec triggers. Uh, the main reason for that being is that I don't use any standard um, off the shelf mil spec or mil spec equivalent triggers in pretty much any of my AR-15s. I didn't dig too deep, but I, I don't think I own a single one anymore. If I do, it's in a parts bin and not on a rifle. Uh, so what we have here is one of my buddies uh, rifles. I think you guys have seen this before. I threw on um, the new EOTech from Brownells here. This is that EXPS3 with the night vision, um, just for just for the video. But uh, this is a BCM upper, built arrow lower, and this has a uh, BCM um, mil spec trigger in it. So this is the trigger that came on my first complete BCM gun. And when I replaced that trigger, which I've done a couple times now, um, this one kind of went in a parts bin and it got thrown on this gun right here. So again, that's the BCM um, mil spec trigger. And then down here we have the 11.3 inch AR pistol. Um, I should note, I'll put build lists, lists to both of these down in the description. So if you want to check them out, you can do that. But this right here is the 11.3 inch Wilson Combat. Seen this a few times before. This has the ALG QMS trigger. And the reason why I'm using this one and just doing the comparison between these two and not, you know, the whole slew of other improved mil spec triggers uh, is because, well, that video is already out, but this is the kind of entry level improved mil spec. The ALG QMS is usually around 40 to 50 bucks. I think I'm gonna say like $49 even is the going rate for this trigger. So of the three I mentioned, it's the cheapest of the three. So it's gonna be probably the closest comparison to something like this. Um, but even then it's still a, a pretty good step up, which I'll show you here in a sec. So um, I should note that if you guys are interested in jumping up from a trigger like this to an improved trigger like the QMS, PNT, whatever, um, check out the sales that they have online, usually around like President's Day, 4th of July, um, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas and New Year's. Those are really the really good um, sales and that's really where you're gonna save some money. So if you're interested in building in an AR or putting it together and you're not worried about completing it in some certain time span, uh, I would check the, the sales around those times because these triggers will drop below their normal price by quite a bit sometimes. So get on those newsletters and stuff like that. So anyway, enough rambling here. Um, let me flip these guys over clear them real quick here and I'm going to show you these up close as close as I can in the camera so you can get a good idea of what the trigger pull looks like and maybe even a little bit of an idea of how it feels so again these are both uh, cleared so no issues there um, I'm gonna go from safe to fire and I just want to demonstrate a little bit of the creep again this is an improved this is the, the standard mil spec trigger that comes on a BCM gun now there's gonna be a little bit of variety going from uh, air quote mil spec trigger to mil spec trigger um, mil spec is a term that kind of gets thrown around a lot a lot of times it's incorrectly um, there's variance in these service rifle mil spec triggers going from rifle to rifle so generally they're like six to eight pounds i don't have a polar gauge so i can't really weigh this one but i can really show you guys the creep um, and the the reset and stuff like that so anyway these are pretty gritty um, they're heavy. This one right here is probably on the lighter side of the mil spec triggers, but um, you can see all that creep there visually. All right, I'm I'm pulling this trigger and you know it's not firing yet. So let me let me pull it. Up. Okay, see it still didn't fire. Just there it did. So I'm holding it to the rear, and then I'm gonna show you the reset. It's a pretty long reset. You almost have to go all the way out. Let's do it again. So you're almost all the way out. Let's pull that trigger one more time. See all that creep. And reset one last time. So that's that's more or less what most of your mil spec equivalent triggers are going to look like. You know, nothing fancy. 
um, they're not the best to trigger. But if you're if you're just throwing a red dot on a gun um, and you don't want to spend the money on something, you know, upgrade. Uh, you know, it's totally okay to keep the mil spec. You know, I think a lot of times it gets thrown under the bus. But if you spend enough time, even with a trigger that's you know of that quality, you can totally you know run it and be some you know hot shot on the internet. So there's no no problems there. Um, let me clear this guy here. So. Uh, this again is the ALG QMS. These are just an improved trigger. They're taking out some of that grittiness. They're lightening them up a little bit. Um, they're getting rid of a lot of that creep, which you're going to see here in a sec. And let's just kind of do this one in front of the camera as well. So you see that there's like a tiny, tiny bit of creep. And that's about it right there. So I'm going to show you the reset. Reset is shorter as well. Again, ooh, I tried to do. I tried to. I tried to show you the creep there on that one, but um, I didn't even get a get any creep pulled out of that one. So there's a little bit more there, as you can tell. And I'll show you one more time here. There you go. So, so all around, the the big difference here is they're getting rid of a a lot of that grittiness. They're reducing the weight. That creep is is being reduced as well, and the reset is generally, from what I've seen, a little bit shorter and a little bit crisper. So you're taking a jump from something like this that's you know just a standard parts kit, not going to cost a whole lot of money, up to something like this, which is 40, 50 bucks. You can go higher, um, but I would say the ALG QMS is a really good starting point uh, if you're looking for something like still retaining the the mil spec reliability uh, and the durability there. Um, but you want something that's a little bit lighter, crisper, cleaner, um, and less gritty. And I think this is a, a really nice improvement. And the other two I mentioned are similar to this. And some of them are, are better in other ways. But the this is really the reasons what I've shown you here are really the reasons why I um, I don't use these triggers anymore on most of my guns. Um, really, anything under the four power range, maybe the one to sixes. I generally like to stick with. You know, a trigger like this is not a big deal to me. I don't need to spend $150 when I'm using a using a gun with a red dot. You know what I mean? So, but when I do jump up to you know my precision rifles, I will take that step up and I'll jump up to the Geisleys. I love the Geisley two stages, the um, SSAE, the SDEs, stuff like that. And those are pricey triggers, and they're totally worth it on a precision gun. Um, but for something like this, I prefer to stay with something a little bit less expensive. So. Um, I think that's about it. In, in my opinion, I think they're worth it, assuming you can spend the money. Uh, at the end of the day, you don't really need to go out and buy something like this. Obviously, this is going to work and it's going to run. Um, just you're just going to have a little bit better uh, results with something like this if you if you um, if you want something that performs better. Uh, you're just going to need to spend a little bit more time. Uh, to get the performance out of this as you would something that's that's better. You know what I mean? So you can still shoot well with this especially when it comes to something as as um, as pre Precision oriented which red dots aren't as a uh, as something like this with um, the mil spec trigger So if you guys got any questions put that stuff down below. I'll get back to you ASAP